Hi everyone, this is Berwin, the lead tutor from Belief Education and we are looking at this fraction word problem. It is as follows. Jane bought some files. She gave 100 files to her pupils and 3 over 7 of the remainder to Dan. The number of files left was one third of the number of files she had at first. How many files did Jane buy at first? So let's highlight some of this important information. Okay, and from what we can see here, is that there is 3 over 7 of the remainder. Now this means that we are stretching beyond just looking at the reference point of the total number of files. Alright, so this is a telltale sign that we can make use of the branching method, which I always emphasize as one of the key method to solve fraction word problem. Now, if you're unsure what that is, do check out my YouTube series called Just Ask Belief for the video that covers the key methods with regards to solving fraction word problems. All right. So for this to get started, we have to do a branch diagram. So we start off with F, which represents the total number of files at the top. She gave 100 to her pupils. And what was left, we do not really know what it is. Therefore, we can represent it by R sub 1. Okay, now R sub 1 represents the remainder after she gave 100 files to her pupils. Alright, and following that, we know that 3 7 of it was given to then. Alright, and the other branch to this can be found by using a part whole concept, which is one whole minus three over seven. That gives us four over seven. And I call it remainder two, which is R sub two. Okay, this is what is left after giving away to pupils as well as to then. Last piece of information. We were told that one third of the number of the files, which is represented by a capital F, as we can see here, right, is actually the remainder. So now from here, what we can see is that R sub 1 is actually one of the essential information that we need to have, which is a fraction. If we can find what R sub 1 is as a fraction, it would help us to determine what actually 100 represents in fraction and thereby allowing us to solve the entire question okay to do that we can simply find a fraction of r sub 1 out of the files by using one third divided by 4 over 7 this keep change flip gives us there's no simplification required giving us 7 over 12 now knowing that 7 over 12 is actually r sub 1 out of the total files we can then determine the fraction of the pupils which is 1 whole minus 7 over 12 5 over 12 so 5 over 12 actually represents 100. And in order to find the total number of files, we can simply find 12 over 12, which is using 100 multiplied by 12 over 5, giving us 240 files. This is how we solve the question using branching method. All right. Now, if you find this useful and you want to look for more of it, please do like this video and also subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as find me on my social media channels, be it on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. So keep going, work hard, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.